What's up everyone, Ryan here, um, very good Monday uh, for those who are watching. I think it's a very, very exciting day ahead, especially the US has not opened up, but it's really very exciting here in, uh, in Asia. Um, sorry, I'm a little late uh, compared to the usual uploading. Um, I think uh, it is, it, I had to go to the, the doctors with the wife and, uh, you know, have a checkup. Uh, everything is going fine. Um, I am having my second child, by the way. So just so you know, um, it's a baby girl and we're really excited. And uh, we, I, so I just wanted to share that with everyone. And uh, yeah, I think things are moving along pretty well. Uh, and, you know, we were looking for, uh, you know, another another bit, you know, so that we can we can have our our elder elder daughter uh, so that I uh, have our elder daughter have uh, sleep on that bed because she needs to, uh, you know, you let the let our newborn have the, her cord. So yeah, so we've been doing a bit a bit of stuff, and I just wanted to do the the usual roundup now, especially um, during the week. What is there to look out for? Now, I will be in the coming weeks. Uh, I've been procrastinating about doing it because uh, you know it's it's just so speculative, right? But I think that it is good. To at least educate people on the the small market cap cryptos and i will be doing very very extensive research on the small cap cryptos uh, and then from then we are going to be moving into that uh, quite extensively in the weeks to come so if you've been following me i've been actually going through the very uh i've been going through the the strong the cryptocurrencies with the strongest fundamentals and um you know i i think those who have bought in uh, with my advice, um, you clearly have been making some solid money. Now, um, let me just do the roundup first. So we are currently at 77 billion. Uh, 24 uh, in the last 24 hours, 35 billion has flown. Uh, 3.5 billion, sorry, not 35 billion. 3.5 billion has flown of uh, uh, flow into cryptocurrencies, and the BTC dominance now is at 46.1 percent. Now, that being said, Bitcoin is still the leader at 35.9 billion in terms of market cap and at the price of around 200 uh 2100 and you know 30 bucks uh you know and of course uh in korea meanwhile in korea everything seems to be uh charged at a premium right so if you click on um on uh, bithum for example so let me just quickly uh, do the roundup first then i'll uh, click into uh, ethereum classic and then to show you the because they just recently listed on bithum and the price for bitcoin ethereum and ethereum classic or at least whatever alts uh, that are being traded on that that particular exchange in fact most uh, korean exchanges are priced at a premium so when you see this price right guys it's not actually you know it's not ac actually that price it's a little bit lower if you look on poloniex kraken uh, bitfinex uh, bitrex they're all like you know 20 percent lower so just discount it later okay so anyway bitcoin still number one spot ethereum has regained its number two spot because of the fact that there were 80 wait let me see 84 or is it 86 oh 86 new members that have joined the eea okay which is the enterprise ethereum alliance that has already been priced in by the way because the the markets literally searched when they saw toyota deloitte um national bank of canada okay uh, there are pharma companies that are on there i haven't really got a chance to to really look through the whole list but it's big news those who have you know control to not sell at the 130 dollar mark when it was just struggling to to burst past congratulations we are across 150 clearly we are pushing for 200 300 on ethereum okay so congratulations for all these people especially those who have uh, followed me when i when i gave advice to in uh, february to buy at 1170 um 12 dollars 13 dollars congratulations you know guys uh, whatever amount that you went in with you are already very much in the money okay those of course who bought in an ico you know you guys are the visionaries you saw the project way before even i did because i came in like um uh, when ethereum had not been hacked it got hacked it split i got i got classic i got ethereum so you know and of course i bought into more classic uh, along the way 
yeah, things are looking good, guys. Very, very excited. Very, very happy to be part of this space. Very, very happy to be part of this community. I see my subscribers growing. Um, I'm very happy that people are, are finding the content valuable and I hope that they're taking action. That's the most important thing, right? Because to do all these videos and no one takes action, that's the, the, the most heartbreaking thing for, for someone who co uh, creates content. Okay, so, uh, yes, okay, so Ripple, yes, uh, you know, uh, it has tapered off. Um, I did a few rip, a couple of Ripple videos saying, saying stay away, especially when the volume is, uh, you know, after the peak. You know, stay away, and I hope that that has helped some people not to go in with the FOMO. All right, so you know, it's been 33 cents for a while now. Uh, I'm sure it'll pick up gradually later on. Okay, because anything that is related to the banks usually um, have have to be successful. Right, they're gonna have pumping money for marketing and so on and so forth. It cannot, it should not go down. It, it'll be quite embarrassing. Okay, then you have Neem. Uh, at currently at 2.5 billion, uh, 0.28 cents. Uh, Litecoin is now at 1.2, uh, slightly below uh, $25 actually. I'm, I'm going to be purchasing some Litecoin live from my Gollum profits. So stay tuned for that. Um, Ethereum Classic, at, actually it's at slightly below $9 guys. So, so as I mentioned, let me just click on it. Okay, and I go to the markets. Okay, so it's here as you can see. On Bithum, it's already 11.75. You look at all the Korean exchanges, guys. Against Korean one is at 11.62, and you look at how lagged the American exchanges are. That's because there is that disparity, or at least there's that premium being charged on Korean exchanges. So when you go, don't get too excited if you're using the American exchanges. Now you might be asking, should I go to the Korean exchanges? Uh, if that's the case, well, if you take profit there, um, don't forget that everything is at on a premium as well. So when you come back. You're gonna have that, you know, that 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 same problem if especially you're 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 going into fiat. So I would say that give it some time. Um, Ethereum Classic is a solid project. Um, I'm gonna be going a little bit into that uh, in a short while. Okay, so back to the charts. Where was I? Um, Dash, yes, below hundred. Um, I would say Dash would be a play that will probably fruitate after July. Okay, so if you're okay to enter around uh, this range now, and if you have quite a bit of dough, um, and you you don't mind the fluctuations and corrections down to at least the eighty dollar mark, uh, you know, of course you'd be saying, why don't I pick it up at eighty dollars? No, because you never know, right? There can be some surge, some new, some volume of dash evolution, but dash evolution is coming out very much later. I think Q three or Q four. Okay. So, uh, Bitcoin, very surprising, came out of nowhere. Once again, I, I'm completely oblivious to Bitcoin. Okay, this guy just appeared out of nowhere, uh, uh, now number 8. And Stellar Lumens is still in the top 10. Monero, Doge has picked up as well. Okay, any, that's why I say, guys, anything below a dollar, I'm going to start to cover okay. I promise you guys, I will start to cover. Anything below even 10 cents, I will start to cover. Yeah, so Gollum was a play that I did. Um, unfortunately, it didn't. I didn't ma manage to catch it at the high last night at eighteen thousand satoshis. I had the sell off at about sixteen thousand satoshis. Okay, because it was a very fast spike. I was having dinner. I didn't have the chance. So anyway, I cashed out. Uh, made I think a good. I think uh forty or fifty percent profit. Um, you know, I'm happy. Okay, it's it's fine. And uh, Gollum, the reason why I use Gollum, I think Craig Grant actually mentioned that Gollum has such a long project. It's like four years for it to reach the final stage that you know it's you have to have a really long time frame and people are, are, are bashing Gollum for that so they can surprise on the upside if they accelerate their roadmap right in a sense that if, if it takes going to take four years then let's say okay we're going to achieve whatever that was supposed to be four years in two years you're going to see a spike in Gollum but in the meantime I'm going to be you know really uh, using Craig Grant's um, strategy where I'm going to be trading Gollum in and out and building my position. So I'm going to show you that I did that just now uh, on my Exodus.io wallet. Now, of course, um, have a look at this, uh, uh, you know, uh, PDF and you will look through the companies, you know, they're all uh, building up, guys. Okay, no one wants to miss out. No corporations, no corporation wants to miss out. It's 20 pages. I ain't going to go through, but I'm just going to give you the, the headline. So, uh, Enterprise uh, Ethereum Alliance expands dramatically, announcing 86 new members, including uh, Broadridge, DTCC, Deloitte, Infosys, Merck, 
uh, MU, uh, MUFG, National Bank of Canada, Rabobank, Samsung, SDS, State Street, Toyota, and you know many, many, many more. And I'm sure that this list is going to continue growing and going to be pushing Ethereum uh, up and up and up, right? Now, what's exciting is that Ethereum Classic, right, is going to probably uh, launch Emerald. And once Emerald starts to, to pick up as well, okay, you're going to have companies coming on board and you're going to have more uh, 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 use cases for Ethereum Classic as well. So with the roadmap in play, okay, with the roadmap in play, you're going to see, uh, you, can, you can check this out. I'm going to put these two uh, links for you to read. Uh, later in, in my description. So ETC Dev Team, okay, this I'm going to put it in my description. You can go and have a read on it and then you can see their roadmap. And this SDK, right, is the first step. It's just basically the, the, the Ethereum Classic's very own wallet, okay? That's why until now, I have not sold any of my Ethereum Classic ever since I bought it, right? I, I would love to have like, like sold at the, at the peak of certain points and re-entered. Then I will always be actually generating, but I don't want to be in a, in a scenario where I sell off and after that, there's more room that it wants to go up to, right? And then I miss out on that, on that difference because it could run up after I sold and it doesn't come back lower for me to re-enter. So I didn't want to take that chance. So I've literally missed out on a couple of range trades that I could have done during the week, the month. Um, so I have not done that, but I just didn't want to miss out on the main play, which is still intact. Okay, because as I mentioned, I was very confident that um, Ethereum Classic is going to go to 1 billion market cap. And it's clearly showing that it's at 768 uh, million already and it's going to push forward. And especially once they um, announce the, the they, they finalize the cap of 230 million and they are going to um, launch Emerald Wallet. And that's when all the dApps and the tools for all the developers are starting to come on board means that I'm not sure whether there's going to be lots of ICOs being done on Ethereum Classic, okay? That, to me, is uh, uh, something that I've not really uh, thoroughly read up on or whether it, it's going to go in that direction. But if it's going to stick to the immutable smart contracts, then a lot of companies are just going to jump on board. And that's, to me, um, much better because these are companies that want to use the blockchain or the or Ethereum Classic network, right? Because they find that the immutability is beneficial to their business model. And yeah, that's that's what I, I'm looking at. Okay, so that being said, uh, as you can see, you know, uh, Litecoin is something that I'm going to be, be uh, going into. So I'm going to be purchasing a little bit of Litecoin uh, soon. Whoa, sheesh, probably there's some lag. It looks, how come it's so dark? Uh... Okay, I'm going to be purchasing a little bit of Litecoin um, once it starts to, you know, it's it's currently dropping because of the fact that um, Bitcoin is is uh, is also strengthening. Backup people are taking profit, obviously, from Ethereum and Ethereum Classic because it, uh, Ethereum Classic and Ether, uh, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic actually shot up um, 20 over percent today alone. So I'm sure there's going to be some take profits, uh, you know, back down. Uh, as you can see, Ethereum Classic is already starting to, to drop against BTC. But in terms of the US dollars, it's still holding up very, very strong above the $8 level. Um, let me see. Give me a second here, guys. So let me switch to the one day. I love one day, you know, I'm, I'm just an uncle, you know, I just love. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so if, all right, if you agree with me, this is a consolidation point for me to enter LTC already, right? Um, of course, naturally, uh, we should see whether this level holds first before buying, right? So yes, um, I might want to consider doing that uh, before re reconsidering entering. And I did do that. I actually bought around these levels uh, very much earlier uh, on my Exodus.io wallet. And uh, I'm pretty happy you know i'm happy with the fact that it's at this price of course i didn't catch ltc when it was at the low guys i did not when it was four dollars ten cents i i didn't move I, I didn't do anything because and after it it activated segwit it started coming down so it's pretty disappointing um obviously there's a huge dump probably from the miners or something like that. i'm not trying to speculate but this is what i would assume right because there was all that hype and then oh you know segway activated and then psh, yeah so that's what happens. 
Well, okay, so that being said, let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at everyone's darling Ripple. How is Ripple doing Ripple? Ripple is getting its butt ripped out. Okay, okay, yeah. Still dropping, okay, so not, not touching it yet. Um, okay, then we have uh, BCN. Let's look at BCN. Wow, BCN is something that I fucking have no idea what they do, man. Yeah, so you see, um, yeah, you have this uh, strong uptrend uh, from here, poop, and it went all the way to 280, and then now there's that huge sell down, which is obvious, right? Anything that goes up parabolic in like three days, I mean, you know, you, you gotta sell down, okay? Because this is just the way things are, right? So you have that, right? So that's why I say I am gonna cover all the small cap, because Anything that is small cap, you put in a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, you can triple up or even quadruple or ten x very quickly. But you know, when you're talking about solid money here, when you're talking about entering with ten, twenty, thirty thousand, I think I always believe in a more conservative approach. So, if you've been following me, you notice that I've always been talking about um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, uh, talking about Litecoin. You know, things that have been around long enough and 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 uh and talk or at least projects that have have solid development teams or a strong community behind it supporting it and pushing it forward talking about it you know because the devs right are just i'm here to code and do my work okay whatever is the price i am not interested okay i'm here to do my work i'm here to deliver according to the deadline that's a very strong development team and that's what we want but the community people like me and you we are here to talk about it we are here to understand and help other laymen's like ourselves to understand what the heck is this cryptocurrency space you know which ones are legit and all that that's what we do right so joining the twitter joining the slack channels and all that is just to get a feel of what they are what is each uh community like or each token each development team really like you know and when you ask them questions do they respond you know and and yeah just just back and forth okay so that being said okay now it's time to go to uh how's my 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 uh my exodus.io portfolio doing okay so remember i started with less than three thousand dollars just I think a few days back. Okay, let, let's just see. Okay, because my, my deposits were around, I think, the 15th and 16th of May. Okay, so, so, okay. So, firstly, I mentioned I have a list of programs that I use to supplement my trading account. Okay, so as you can see, I always have some kind of Bitcoins coming in very passively in small amounts. Okay, in very small amounts throughout the whole period, right? So, so this is like for me to use to buy other cryptocurrencies, okay? So of course, Exodus, Exodus.io is not a like a full-fledged trading uh, platform like Poloniex, Kraken, or Bitfinex, but it's for people who just want to participate in the cryptocurrencies without, um, you know, the 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 whole um technicals involved in trading, right? Like stop limit and you know. Uh, margin trading and all that you know just very simple come onto the exodus.io do a simple exchange you know so my strategy is very simple you don't have to follow this strategy but i'm just saying i have a list of programs of crypto passive cryptocurrency um programs that you know pay you out either hourly or uh, every time you have an affiliate commission every four hourly or whatever so you can just take a look at that list and um, you know, you just pick one that you like. You know, from low to high risk, and of course, the one with the highest uh, uh, percentage usually is the highest risk. The one with the lower percentage um, is, of course, the one with the lower risk. And then you know, you can even have a mining uh, uh, one that has it, that's the lowest risk like possible because you're just mining, right? So you're not gonna be like making huge sums of money. Um, but that's like for those who are very conservative. So all those programs are listed in my description. Uh, in the description. So okay, wait. So now I am going to just show you, like I said, I did not top up ever since the 17th of May. This is whatever that was there. Um, anyone has watched my episodes before. So um, as of now, pretty sick. 620 now is 1001. And uh, 880 now is 1005. So almost 
double up guys i almost doubled up my cryptos okay i doubled up almost doubled up my uh, my sorry my value sorry not my cryptos my cryptos are still the same uh it's still uh, 16.99 uh, ethereum of course i own more guys okay i just want to do this small experiment to encourage people that with a very small amount you still can start okay now uh, of course ah yes i wanted to show that i took profit from golem right so what i did was at when it was uh, 691 US dollars, I took profit into Bitcoin. So that was the value then, and I exchanged it into Bitcoin. Can you see? So what I did was, when I exchanged it, it was valued at 1,092. Okay, so 691 became 1,092. I think that's about, uh, uh, about 40%. Yes, about 30, almost close to 40%. And because of that, I got a nice price increase when Bitcoin started to appreciate. So there you go. Okay, so this Bitcoin is of course sitting there now. So let me just show you. Um, there is that amount of Bitcoin that came in 22nd, right? Uh, yes, here. Yes, okay. So see? So this is the, the transaction. See? So I just used the shape shift and then I entered. Now, Litecoin. Okay, Litecoin is, uh, yeah, you know, still struggling. So, never mind. That being said, let's go to the exchange and let's buy some Litecoin. Uh, I'm thinking of between Dash and Litecoin because I don't own any Dash, right? And uh, I, I, I feel like I should, I should buy some Dash, but, you know, who knows? It might go down. But I still prefer Litecoin uh, compared to, uh, to Dash. <laughs> I'll be very honest with you. Um, I don't know whether that's the best play for now because both have consolidated. Dash has consolidated at around uh, 98 uh, $100. Um, when it was 50, I, I didn't have any liquidity at that point, so I didn't do anything. Now, Litecoin uh, is now at the $25 mark, right? So I'm thinking perhaps maybe I should, you know, add on some uh, some some more. So let's let's just do Litecoin. Okay, let's let's get some Litecoin. Um, I'm not going to do half. I'm going to just do probably uh, probably 0 0.5. Okay, so I'll probably just do 0 0.5. Oh, wait, wait. Let me just do with the profits. Right? Let's just do with the profits. Okay, and you get 21 light coins. Let me just squeeze it up a little bit more. Ah, yes. Okay, so... Okay, so this is this, and I'm gonna get some light coins. Okay, I, I mean I, I'm happy with the price, guys. You know, I, I'm not I'm not gonna panic even if it drops to twenty dollars because it's it's the strategy. That's the strategy. Now, while this is doing its stuff and exchanging, okay, bear in mind that I did mention that at the end of the month, if we make money, okay, with the profits that we have, it is good to buy some gold. Now, this is the most painful experience. I am still contemplating whether is it the right time to go and buy some gold. But if I feel that it is, I really, you know, I'm pretty committed to my strategy. So why I say this, gold is boring as F, okay? And, but in the event of, in, in the event of, uh, of, of uh, a financial uh, or macro kind of financial shit happening, right? Gold is going to decently spike up. Okay, so I am going to stick to that strategy and going to buy some gold and then I'm going to use Bitcoin to buy some gold and, you know, it's 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 going to be something that, that I'm going to hold for, God knows, maybe in the next 12 months. And I'm just going to hold that gold position, right? Because when the financial markets melt down, your gold prices are going to spike. Um, your Japanese yen is going to spike. Okay, these are the age old, uh, uh, you know, safe havens of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of the markets. Okay, now we are saying that Bitcoin could be the one as well. That's still debatable because Bitcoin has not experienced a financial crisis yet. It was birthed during the financial crisis back in 08, but it has yet to be tested. It has had some bare, uh, uh, very strong retracements because of uh, certain uh, adoption issues, 
but nonetheless you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna experience it guys you're gonna get caught we are all gonna get caught okay um, and no one's going to guess the peak. No one's going to know when's the, when's the crypto bubble going to burst. And then after that, sell down sharply. All your fucking portfolios are going to take a hit. But if you have gold, okay, in your portfolio, that's going to help you recover a little bit. And if you were, um, if you were smart enough to buy into the cryptocurrencies that had the strongest fundamentals that are not going to flinch when uh, markets turn, your portfolio is going to recover very much quicker, quicker than if you had invested into shit altcoins or altcoins that, that you know, are, are, are basically uh, there for the hype. Just capitalizing on the whole inflow of money because when there's money to, me, to be made, you're going to see all these uh, ICOs start mushrooming because there's money to be made, guys. So no one wants, and everyone's claiming to be, um, you missed Bitcoin. You, they're going to say, you missed Bitcoin you don't, you, or you missed Ethereum. You don't want to miss out on the next bull run for this particular token. And people who know nonetheless, who know, who know nuts, especially if they don't bother to watch um, the videos that I put out, the videos that uh, uh, cryptocurrency market puts out, the, the videos that crypto or cryptoverse, right? Uh, Omar, Omar Bam and uh, of course the, the guy who, who runs cryptoverse. You know, all these channels are so educational. And I would say that a large part of what I've known, I combine everything together and you know made started making my own decisions and now i'm making videos and i have the responsibility to educate the people in my subscriber list so guys stick to the strategy okay um it's painful to buy gold but every time if you can take 10 percent, 20 percent of your profits of your profits and put them into gold you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be very thankful that you did that although it's very painful okay so um, I can, uh, from in, Sing in Singapore, I have uh, bullion stars where we can use Bitcoin to buy gold directly. So, of course, when I'm talking about gold, I'm talking about physical gold. Now, now there is talks that there's this Digix gold. I, I don't know exactly know the name, but I think there's, it's, it's called Digix gold or something like that or, or Digix DAO, okay? So, oh no, the way, DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. Sorry, Digix gold where it's backed up against, uh, where the tokens are backed up against uh, gold. I, I'm not sure from a digital perspective, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using that um, because of the fact that it's more interchangeable and permissibility is better, but I'm definitely going to consider. Okay, so um, it's up to you whether you want to buy into physical gold or you want to buy into digital gold, but I will always say, you know, go for the more conventional, safer bet and stick to... Um, and stick to uh, uh, physical gold because you can own it. And of course, naturally, um, these companies, when you want to sell off the gold, um, it's 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 there, right? Because they are there to make the transactional uh, transaction. They are they are there to make transactions. They are not really worried about holding gold or they're gonna have that shop closed. And even if it does, you always can go to another shop. And gold is gold, guys. It's always accepted. Okay. Now, uh, with that being said, thank you so much. The video is long enough. It's almost half an hour. Uh, if you have stayed until the end of the video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, if you have a list of altcoins that are below um, 200 million, okay, let me know. I will go and start researching and I will start uh, coming out some of those videos. I don't want to go too much into it because it becomes then my channel becomes like a like a bloody speculative channel and it's and it, it, it diverts away, right? But of course if these if these tokens genuinely have a strong development development team and strong fundamentals, I am definitely interested and I would love to share it with my viewers and especially if you are already existingly invested in some of them and you have seen not only the returns but you know that they have solid uh, uh, use cases in the future, share them with me. Also, don't forget to, uh, of course, subscribe to this channel, share this channel with your loved ones, especially if they're very new to cryptocurrencies. Um, yes, and, um, and also don't forget the strategy, as I mentioned, you know, um, have, um, have a, a, a list of cryptocurrency programs to build up the Bitcoins. And then from then you can, you know, start investing in the respective cryptocurrencies of your choice that have, uh, have a nice correction or consolidation. And yeah, that's how you build your portfolio, guys. So the list of those programs are in the description. All right. So thank you very much. God bless and have fun.